this is just outlined in several links. I mean, some of the more important ones that we talked about the primary, I mean, first of the secondary, and then again, similar to the first of the link. I mean, this is from the back of the course. And you can see where, if you didn't appreciate it, that the old gear ligament and the wrong ligament are attached to the lateral corny of the uterus from there. And it's a diagram showing the lateral ligament, the pupil cervical or pupil cycle ligament, and the uterus cycle ligament. They give rise to a cruciform. They have a cruciform support of the cervix. Okay, so that is very good for that. Similar pictures, so I'll try to use that. And there we have the uterus that will be going to put in the back from backwards. But this really can't be noticed that by the human cervical attached, so it's just a bit more fall. The chandra's ligaments will hold the cervix in the midline. And if you disbelieve that the vagina is not straight up as in the vertical, as in your diagram is showing, these are radio graphs yeah, of the vagina there, bladder, and the rectum. And you can see this vagina, the lower part is more than vertical, whereas the upper part of the vagina tends to be somewhat horizontal. And that part when the pressure increases on the other, when the pressure is exerted on the left hand side, onto the elevator of the right back. There it is, with the rectum in such a contrast on the vagina. And you can see the vertical first part and the horizontal second part of the, the vagina. And then all the support at the back is the elevator of the And those are just the supports of the, the vagina. From above, the importance of the cardinal and intersexual ligament that I outlined to you. And the pelvic diaphragm, so the elevated inai, the room, and the peritoneal body. Those are the interior supports, whereas these two rooms that will tend to support the upper vagina in real life. Okay, and so Mr. Gardner, will do this to you. Any questions?